Hi guys, in this video I'll be discussing monoclonal antibodies and the production of monoclonal antibodies. Finally, a summary. So we've met antibodies before, but just a reminder that antibodies are proteins produced by B lymphocytes. This is a type of white blood cell and these target specific antigens. So this is what a B lymphocyte looks like. This Y-shaped structure here is an antibody. So these target specific antigens. These antigens can be anything that antibodies bind to, for example, hormones or other chemicals that the cell makes. They can also bind to cell markers on pathogens to help destroy them. Antibodies can also be mass produced by scientists. So a large amount of these antibodies can be produced. These antibodies produced are actually called monoclonal antibodies. This is because they're produced from clones from the same lymphocyte. So for monoclonal antibodies, we don't use different lymphocytes, but we use lymphocytes all cloned from the same cell. This means that all of the antibodies produced are identical and they target the same specific antigen. So this is the antibody and this is the antigen. Monoclonal antibodies can be used for a variety of things, including pregnancy tests. We talk about this more in another video. So now let's talk about producing monoclonal antibodies. To produce antibodies that target a specific antigen of interest, we need to obtain the correct lymphocyte. So we need a specific B lymphocyte that produces specific antibodies that bind to a specific antigen. We don't want B lymphocytes that don't produce the right antibodies. So to get the right ones, this is achieved by injecting genetically modified mice with this antigen. The goal is to produce antibodies to bind with this antigen. So the immune response of the mice produces B lymphocytes. These make antibodies that bind to the antigen and these cells are collected. So we collect these cells. So the difficulty lies in making clones of the cell. This is because lymphocytes don't divide very easily in culture. We talk more about culturing in another video. So to get around this problem, we use cancer cells. These are used really often in labs because by definition, they divide really easily and very often. So this is a cancer cell. And as you can see, it's growing very quickly. Scientists can then fuse a mouse B lymphocyte with a cancer cell from the bone marrow. This is called a myeloma. This makes a particular cell called a hybridoma. So this mouse B lymphocyte and this cancer cell or myeloma fuse together to produce a hybridoma. These hybridomas are then cloned to make lots of identical hybridomas. So you can see a lot of them are growing on this agar dish. The antibodies produced by these cells are then collected and purified. So that's how you batch produce monoclonal antibodies. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.